Hey guys, in this video we're going to set up our environment for Node.js and Express development. Alright, so we're going to basically set up three things. Okay, so we're starting from scratch here. I'm assuming that you don't have Node.js installed or anything like that. If you do, that's absolutely fine. But we're just going to go through real quick and install Node.js. I have a couple other things that I want to install as well. Um, I want to install Git, which is a version control system. Uh, where you can basically save different versions of your applications. You can create repositories. Uh, you can upload to GitHub or other services like that. Uh, we're not really going to deal with that side of it. The reason I want to download Git is because it comes with a, a really nice command line tool uh, called Git Bash. And if you're using Windows, I would suggest it over the standard Windows command line. Um, it gives you some, some extra... Uh, features and it's just really nice to, to use uh, instead of the you know Windows command line so we're gonna grab that and then as far as a text editor obviously you can use whatever you want you may have a preference that you are gonna stick to uh, but Atom is a, a really nice editor it has a lot of features the highlighting is really nice and um, it's great for any kind of JavaScript development alright so let's go ahead and download Node.js we're going to grab the recommended version. Okay, and that's only 12.2 megabytes, so that's a quick file to download. We're going to open it up. Okay, let's run that. Now we're just going to go through the installer, just like any other Windows installation. Okay, we'll install it in the default directory. All right, so Node.js has been successfully installed. So the next thing we're going to install is Git and Git Bash. So if you go to git-scm.com, we're going to download for Windows. Okay, save that. Now, if you're using uh, Linux, you can just go ahead and use your package manager. This is for. All right, so we're going to go through the installer. Very simple. Uh, we're going to just keep the default for this. Click Next. Now for this option, I'm going to choose to use Git and optional Unix tools from the Windows command prompt. So we can use things like commands like ls and some other uh, Unix-based commands in Windows, which is really helpful. All right, this option here and the rest of them, we're just going to use the default. And again, this is optional, the git bash editor um, command line tool. You don't need to use that. All right, so now that that's set up, let's go ahead and uncheck the release notes. And I guess we can launch it just so you can see what it looks like. Okay, if you want to make it bigger, you can just hold control and just scroll your mouse wheel up or down, and that'll resize it. All right, so we can now use commands like ls to view uh, to view the contents of the directory and some other Unix-based tools as well. All right, so the last thing we're going to install is Atom, which is a text editor. So we're going to just go ahead and download that. All right, so that's downloaded. Let's open it up. Click Run. And... You should see an Atom splash screen on yours. Mine is actually on a, on a different monitor, so you can't see it. But it's installing now, and then it's just going to open up when it's done. All right, so there we go. This is the text editor. And if you want to open up projects, you could just say add project folder and just choose a folder, and it would open up on the side here. All right, so now that we have Node.js installed, we have our command line tool installed, and we have a text editor installed, now it's time to move along and set up our Node application and install Express.